Hi, I'm Arnie Gunderson from Fairwinds Energy Education. Historians will look back on 2015 as a turning point for producing electricity during the 21st century. The data is in. Building new nuclear power plants is too expensive and takes too long. Global climate change can be prevented with a renewable electric grid that will become the new normal. In the United States and in Europe, August is usually a slow news month with so many families either on vacation or preparing for a new school year. However, in Japan, August 2015 has been a time of great sadness and remembrance during the 70th commemoration to the victims of the nuclear bombing of Nagasaki and Hiroshima. Japan's figurative leader, Emperor Akihito, broke new ground in his address at the memorial service held August 15th to mark the 70th anniversary of the end of World War II, expressing, quote, feelings of deep remorse over the last war. I earnestly hope that the ravages of war will never be repeated. Akihito's statements are an important balance in Japan to elected Prime Minister Abe's push to restart nuclear power and to remilitarize Japan. Remilitarization is frightening for the world because Japan's existing nuclear power plants have produced many tons of plutonium that could produce hundreds of nuclear bombs if the Japanese chose to build them. Even though more than 70% of Japan's citizens objected to the restart of any of Japan's 54 nuclear reactors that were shut down after the Fukushima Daiichi triple meltdown, the Abe regime started up the Sendai reactor August 11th, 2015 anyway. Sadly, the reactor is only 30 miles or 50 kilometers from a very active volcano, which has the people in Japan even more distressed. Does the startup of this old nuclear power plant mean that Japan and the world have reached a renaissance for nuclear power? Absolutely not. News headlines should have read, only one nuclear reactor out of 54 is allowed to start up, or maybe 28 of Japan's original 54 reactors will never operate again due to safety risks, rather than the worldwide headlines touting the Japanese government pushed to get one single reactor restarted after five years. Actually, for the nuclear industry, the future of nuclear power remains bleak, not just in Japan, but worldwide. Why? Historians will see 2015 as a turning point in the world's energy paradigm because viable renewable energy is now cheaper and more reliable than nuclear power will ever be. Let's make a brief comparison. In the United Kingdom, the new Hinkley Point nuclear reactor is projected to produce power at 16 cents per kilowatt hour. While in the United States, the North Anna reactor in Virginia is expected to produce power at 19 cents per kilowatt hour. Nuclear costs continue to skyrocket upward at every plant throughout the world. At the same time, costs of renewables continue to plummet in 2015. Solar now costs less than four cents a kilowatt hour, while wind costs less than three cents a kilowatt hour. But the real game changer is that the cost to store electricity has plummeted as new storage technologies are burgeoning worldwide. By thinking outside the box and starting from scratch, Elon Musk and his Tesla Corporation created battery storage in which electricity costs will end up somewhere between only two cents and five cents per kilowatt hour to store. For years, the nuclear industry has claimed that only nuclear power could generate fossil-free energy when the wind is not blowing and the sun is not shining. Engineering ingenuity has created incredible advances so that solar electricity plus storage costs less than nine cents and wind electricity plus storage costs less than eight cents. Compare those consumer-friendly costs to nuclear power 
that is now at least twice as expensive. Nuclear power still has the horrendous toxic legacy of radioactive waste that humankind and the nuclear industry still cannot figure out how to store for 250,000 years. Yet Musk and Tesla have clearly showed that humankind can store electricity from solar overnight. You may have heard me say before that building new nuclear power plants will make global climate change worse. First, designing and building a new nuclear plant will take between 15 and 20 years. Just look at the Arriva nuclear reactor design failures in Finland and in France that have led to at least a decade-long delay. Vogel in Georgia, under construction for the past three years, has now fallen three years behind schedule. And such a waste of money on nuclear power that will take money away from renewables that can come to market more economically, faster, and cleaner. Why would anyone want to spend 16 cents on electricity generated by a power plant that takes so long to build, when electricity produced for less than half that price could be available in less than one year? Lastly, whether one believes in climate change or not, higher ocean, lake, and river temperatures are shutting down nuclear power plants because the cooling water is too hot to cool a reactor fuel. In 2015, the forecast is simple. Dirty forms of energy like coal, nuclear, oil, or fracked gas are no longer cheaper and certainly not cleaner or safer than renewable alternative power, like solar, wind, wave, and geothermal. As Victor Hugo once said, all the forces in the world are not so powerful as an idea whose time has come. I'm Arnie Gunderson from Fairwinds. We'll keep you informed.